Why? Why are we? Who are we and why? Who is that? Who am I? You, he, you, it? What does existence actually mean? The human being. What is that? Why does he always want to be better than the worm or the caterpillar or the bagger? Aren't we an arbitrarily strung series of genes and experiences? Are we even measurements? But how did we come about? At first the earth was a big campfire. So that you can understand it better, you can perhaps explain it better that way. Then the iceman came and painted everything full of ice. The whole, the whole earth to a big crin, gill, and a rounded air with birds, ducks, swans, and everything pipapo. Salad, spinach, none of that existed yet. Horsetail was the be-all and end. All. There were horsetail onions, horsetail trees, horsetail animals. There were even cities that were called horsetail animals. There were even cities that were called horsetail. There were even cities that were called horsetail. The city of Horsetail City and Horsetail, New Schachtelheim and Altschach, Telheim, and the other cities were then called Dusseldorf at Horsetail or Horsetail City in America. And so it happened at that time that suddenly the coal mines had Horsetail fallen and stretched their mines deep underground. There are tunnels throughout North Rhine, Westphalia. Time worked in these tunnels for thousands of years. And time is also to blame for the fact that people are there, are born, die afterwards, and celebrate a little Maybe beforehand. Maybe play the clarinet. But the beginnings were such that man was only a small animal at first, such a scourge animal so big that you can hardly hit it with your bare hand. In the size of my modern thumbnail today, maybe 20 billion scourge animals were represented. They had cities and eggs. More and more changes hatch from these eggs. They changed, and that's called courage. And with a lot of courage, the first lungfish was born one day in New Zealand. He confessed to being human and turned into a small sesame monkey after tens of billions then of millennia. Then St. Nicholas came, and the two had children. The monkey was a female. Santa Claus is clearly a male. You can see that clearly from the side when he comes. That's how man came. At first he was naked, like all of us. Like you, you, and you. I don't. I was never naked. I've never been seen. I've never been seen naked. This is how man came into being. Then shoes, panties, sweaters, cap came on it. And today's civilized person was ready. The so-called homo saper, actually. The so-called homo saper, actually. That had been the name for a poisonous snake. But the dear snake. God said, Oh, let's leave the man. We don't have a name for him at the moment. But why am I telling you this? Well, have you guessed it yet? I don't know myself.